Hey guys, Ruby here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a spray on, well, like, a spray on deodorant. You could, if you don't, well, if you want more, like, and then you can use it as more of a perfume if you don't want it as strong. And let's get started. All you'll need is a perfume. Um, since this was the only perfume that I had out, my black my blackberry vanilla perfume. You'll need a perfume, a squirt bottle, about half full, and um. You just, well, to get started, you would probably have to take off the lid <laughs> of both of them. And then, where did that thing go? Oh, there it is. I am just using a makeup, like a lipstick tube to do this, but it has like a little bottom right here, and it has like a little hole in it, but you will take your lipstick tube, fill it up. Pour it in, and you'll need two of those, or you can guess the measurement, but I don't even know the measurement, and of course it didn't even make it. Well, my perfume's extra strong today then. Okay, so I guess you can just take it. just spray about three sprays in there and just put the lid on really tight shake it and then it'll get all fizzy and then that's perfect And just wipe off the bottle if you got any perfume on it. Well, I know I've got it all over it. Okay, but and you can use it as a perfume, deodorant. Who cares? Just you might want to test it first. And make sure it's on mist. Not. You can hardly smell it. Oh, you can smell it really good in there. So I guess put more sprays in there. And then <laughs> maybe this one will have a smell to it. Okay, I'm just going to use this tissue paper as a example and it's I can't smell it on there so guess I'm gonna have to use something yep okay entire bottle in there. But 
that I don't want it. So I'm just going to be using. See if this works. Lotion. Mm. They both have the nail on it, so it's not going to be a big deal. Keep shaking until it looks kind of like a soda face, and then and it'll moisturize too. So you know, I'm just gonna put the bottle in there. Smells really good in the bottle, but it isn't coming out smelling like it. No, we only have that much left. Please pick a cat. My friend Bryce did this, and it worked really good. So it gets really moisturized. Just add as much lotion as you want. And then It smells pretty good. Let's just hope it smells like that when it goes on my skin. Okay, so this completely turned from spray and deodorant to spray on perfume, which, well, this is spray on perfume, but from spray on deodorant, which didn't work out, to spray on lotion. That might work out. But let's see. Ooh, smells nice. And it's all lotion and so it's like, ooh, that's good for you. Smells good. Very good indeed. In fact, it's so good I want to put more lotion in it. I know I don't have a lotion addiction. It just smells really, 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 really good. And more. Okay, so the lotions that I use is Lubriderm Advanced Therapy Lotion, um, Warm Vanilla Sugar Lotion, um, Body Satin Body Lotion, and Pretty Promise Vanilla Frost Scented Body Lotion. And 
it smells so good in there. Mm -hmm. Ewie. I'm just going to shake it up. So all you really need to do to make spray on lotion now is a lots of lotion and water. Say bye. It's full now. And it smells so good. I'm going to be using this blue tissue paper now. the tissue paper. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. But this is what you do for it. And this is how you make a DIY spray lotion. I'm super weird today. And that's it for this DIY. Like and subscribe. Thumbs up. Mm. Hope you do this because it. And I will give you the outcome because I will show you my elbow, which probably will never change. It's like really dry, so I'm going to be using this for a couple weeks, and then I will see. I will show you guys how it worked, if it improved it any. So. Later dudes.